Welcome back. Good to see you again. It is Friday and it has been a heck of a week. I am really glad that I have my camera here to keep me sane because work really did a number on me. However, I'm here, I'm having fun, and uh, I just wanted to share with you guys some of the things I learned in my first week of being a YouTube creator. Obviously, I've used YouTube for forever. I uh, never got around to actually contributing my own point of view to YouTube and some things. And so there was a couple things that I learned while making some videos that I thought any of you aspiring YouTube creators out there might be able to learn from some of my hardships this week. First and foremost, check your settings. You gotta be looking at your settings, checking your settings. When I'm switching back and forth between pictures and video, you know, sometimes I leave it in the picture setting when I'm scrolling back to video or video setting when I'm scrolling back to pictures. It's important to be extra thorough. Even the pros go out and they make mistakes, so we, you really gotta keep your eyes on things, look at your histogram, check your settings. Don't ever assume that your settings are still good from last time. I find whenever I change my settings, I, I never remember to put them back. So it's a good thing to, to double check. It's always better to double check and to, to end up having to throw footage away or get home and you don't even have anything that you'd want to. I've obviously limped through a couple of my videos this week, had some trash footage that I really was counting on. Uh, so you never know, lots of curveballs are out there. Number two, when in doubt, take two. Just go ahead and take another video. Uh, I. <laughs> have have been talking to myself and to you guys but when I delete the footage I'm actually just talking to myself and I've been doing that plenty this week and one of the things that I've really learned is I need to do it more I need to be having more footage to throw away and that actually leads me to my next thing is there's so many times when just my talking face in front of the camera might be getting stagnant and I need to do a better job of being a videographer and using my video to tell my stories. So if I need to cut away from my face and put a little something in there, I can. It really just helps with the flow. Uh, trying to go back and watch my own videos this week and see what I liked and seeing what I didn't and asking people whose opinions I value uh, what they thought to be critical and to uh, to give me a piece of their mind on how I can be a, a better video creator and one of those things is just got to get out there and keep getting footage I need to be I need to figure out how to edit and be more concise and shorten my videos figure out how to get more content per second you know they're kind of fun to watch but they're wandery and, and wispy and as I learn to get more and more footage more and more b-roll I can pack more content uh, into each second and hopefully you guys can get more out of it as well as myself obviously develop to be a better videographer. A couple things that I, I noticed are my weak points on things that I need to get better at. Uh, number one, you know, Lightroom, <laughs> Premiere Pro, Photoshop. Uh, I'm terrible at those things so I, I'm, I'm trying to learn how to get better at them and I've pretty much just committed to making 20 bad videos before I can hope to make a good one. I've been able to put out five videos now this week. I felt pretty good about them for being my my first effort but there's so much more so much more progress can be made out there both on my my content uh, my editing, my footage, uh, everything. But the three things that I really feel like I need to work on the most, steady my shots. Uh, I don't have gimbals and sliders and a lot of stuff like that, so I've been trying to be very steady with my hands, keep it close to the core, or a trick I learned from Peter McKinnon that I really like a whole lot is use your camera strap as a third point of contact. So you can go one hand on the lens, one hand on the body, and if you kind of stretch your camera strap, you can put it around the back of your head. You can have something to kind of push against, and it, it has definitely helped me with slow shots. Uh, obviously, any time that I'm trying to move my feet and also get a slow shot, I'm screwing it up, but I'm, I'm making progress. I'm getting better and I'm learning from my mistakes. More than anything, I'm finding out what my flaws are, and that's how you grow. You get better by finding out where the trouble areas are and focusing on them. 
So, uh, one of the ways I'm focusing on them is by making this video and holding myself accountable and setting my camera on a tripod sitting right there. So that's perfectly still. Definitely have some steady shots this time. And then better focus. I rely too heavily on autofocus when I'm mo out moving around. And even with video, I really don't have a good understanding of how my camera, my uh, Sony a7R2 um, does its focus with the videos and trying to figure out how to have less of that jumpy, autofocus, camera switching in and out. That's just gonna come with, with time. And then the third thing that I really need to work on is learning how to throw away my shots. I need to be getting more footage so that I am throwing more away. I am making these videos using 85% of the footage that I'm coming home with and uh, I really need to be doing more takes uh, when I need to see things, I need to get out there and adjust them and, and not be afraid to, to be the photographer and be the videographer and take control of my surroundings. That's kind of one of the hardest things as a photographer is, at least for me personally, is I don't want to get in and mess with anybody. I kind of got into photography being an observer and wanting to capture moments when I saw them. Great photography doesn't happen passively. You got to get out there and you got to be a part of the change and you got to be a part of making everything work and if you need to brush someone's hair out of their face or you need to move a chair out of the way uh, or I need to set up a tripod and take a video of myself uh, while I'm in a public setting uh, that just comes with the territory it's part of being one of us crazy YouTube creators is we get out there and we embarrass ourselves in front of people in normal society and we try to get better so Three things I learned this week. Number one, check your settings. Don't assume, look, verify. Number two, when in doubt, take two. Just do it again. Do the exact same thing one more time. You're gonna thank me later, I promise. Just do it again, when in doubt. Number three, B-roll, B-roll, B-roll. Take footage, keep it. You never know what you're gonna need. If you see something cool, videotape it. If you hear something cool, go get that audio. You'll find a use for it, I promise. Three things that I know that I need to get better at. Number one, steady shots. I don't have a gimbal, I don't have a slider, I don't have any of those things. I need to get better at taking steady shots. It'll look better, and you guys are gonna like me better for it. Number two, Better focus. Gotta stop relying on autofocus. But I also really need to better understand how my Sony thinks. If I understand how my camera wants to autofocus, I'll be a better wingman for it on getting it to do what I want it to do. And then number three, I've gotta learn to throw away footage. The more footage I have on the cutting room floor means the more footage I have in my computer, in my presentation, that's gonna look good. And uh, I just gotta not be so connected to my things. I need to take more shots. I need to do it three times, five times, 10 times. Throw it away. I can always throw away more and take the best stuff. That's how you get good content. Those are the things that I've really learned, things that I need to work on, things that uh, I, I hope to get better at. I hope that you guys that are out there watching are feeling comfortable with letting me know. One of my very good friends, David Muckey, and just today sent me some really thoughtful feedback on some of my videos this week. And sometimes people don't like criticism, but I know that I suck at this, and I'm really excited about the criticism, and I, I'm really honored that, um, that my friend uh, cared enough to, to take the time to think critically about these videos that I'm making and uh, pass along some of the experience that he's had over the years. Please, if you uh, are interested in being one of my critiquers, bring it on. I welcome it. So please load that down into the comments. Let me know what you think. Tell me what you want to see. Tell me what you hate. Uh, I, I'm an open book. I'm ready to go. So uh, don't hesitate. Don't pull any punches. Let's do this. Uh, special thanks to my man Mark Rebier who let me borrow some music uh, from his awesome portfolio of great jams as well as I just signed up with Epidemic Online uh, audio logs. So that helps you get some more accessible audio for YouTube where I'm not stealing anybody's content. Part of being an artist, I got to respect other people's art 
and uh, and and let them give the credit where credit's due and uh, not rip anybody off. So thank you very much for uh, following along and being a part of this first week on YouTube. I've enjoyed showing you my house and my friends' businesses and I can't wait to share more of my life with you and hopefully get better at making these videos and have them be a bit more enjoyable to watch and easier to watch more than anything. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to my channel and like those views. Go out there, subscribe to other people's channels. Enjoy yourself. I'm, I'm really inspired by a handful of people. Mark Rebier has been a big part of, of what I'm doing. Uh, and then, you know, really, honestly, online, Peter McKinnon really opened my eyes to what vlogging could be and how you can learn by creating. And that is something that I really want to do is learn by creating. I want to get out there and I want to make a bunch of mistakes. Hopefully when I get to a thousand hours of video, I will uh, actually be good at it. So thank you very much for your time. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next week. Enjoy your weekend.